Hi folks, today we're going to do a DIY where we learn how to clean and seal the headstone of one of your loved ones. I wasn't planning on doing a DIY video on this particular topic. However, yesterday was Memorial Day and we were here at Fernwood Cemetery paying tribute and respects to our loved ones. My brother-in-law Pete, my father-in-law Phil, and Phil's parents. And before we got here, my mother-in-law, Linda, asked me if I could bring some supplies and clean up the gravestones because they had started to attract mold. While I was cleaning these headstones, I took a look around and I realized that a lot of people probably don't know how to do this. So that's why I'm making this video. It's actually a fairly simple process and one that will brighten the spirits of not only you, but hopefully your dearly departed. So let's walk over to the grave of another family member and I'll show you how I cleaned all the moss off of these two gravestones yesterday and why they're so dry and pretty and ready to seal today. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the moss and the algae off of this headstone right here. And these are the materials that I think that you should bring with you if you're gonna do something like this. I always bring a kneeling pad with me so that I stay comfortable while I'm doing this. I recommend bringing some type of sprayer with you. This is my favorite sprayer. Uh, however, a, a cheap $15 sprayer will really work a lot better than just pouring water over it with a gallon. I'll show you that in just a second. You're going to want to bring some type of uh, household cleaner that has bleach in it. And then I recommend adding a couple extra tablespoons of household bleach to that cleaner so that it kills the moss very, very quickly. And then uh, you're going to want a brush, a nice soft bristle brush that'll just get into all the nooks and crannies and everything. And that's it. Let me show you how to do this. It's very simple. First thing you want to do is you want to get it wet. After you get it wet, you're going to want to spray your cleaner on there. Want to be careful not to get any on your flowers, that's for sure. And now you want to let that bleach sit for a couple of minutes, just a minute or two. And now we're going to go ahead and brush it off. And now that all the algae is brushed, if you got a sprayer with you, the sprayer will help take it out of all the little nooks and crannies. The bleach is really the key to the whole thing. And now if you're gonna put a sealer on it, you just wanna let it dry overnight. So now that the headstone is clean and dry, it's time to apply the sealer. We're gonna do two coats, which means that we'll have to put one coat on and then we'll have to hang around and either talk to our loved ones or read a book while the first coat dries. I'm using something called Professional's Choice High Gloss Finish Sealer. This is typically a sealer that's designed for stonework that goes in your kitchen or your bathroom but I guarantee you it'll work just fine here on this headstone. I'll be sure to include a link down below to this one and a couple of others if you want to order it online. You want to head over to the tile section of your local hardware store to find stone sealers. You also want to get yourself a bucket and a brush. Give it a good shake. You don't want to pour all of it in the bucket. You want to pour just enough in the bucket so that if you leave your brush sitting, your brush isn't going to get completely soaked with sealer. Anyhow, I always like to start with the letters because as you're doing the rest of it, you will see that some of the sealer tries to drip out of the letters. And if you do those first, while you're doing the rest of the headstone, you can keep coming back and making sure that those drips get brushed off. But I just kind of dab it all into the letters and into all the cracks. Now this stone has never been sealed before, so on this first coat, it's really gonna suck up the sealer. Maybe you can't tell a joke, but when your stuff gets broke, what do you do? You give Tommy a call, whether it's large or small, there's no project he can't see through. Let's laugh and learn from this handyman, with Kitty hold this by his side. Fixing stuff in a serious way with a not so serious guy. Okay, now that I'm done with the entire thing, I'm just gonna come back to the front and make sure that I don't have any big drips. So I'm gonna use a dry brush and just kind of go back over everything. We're gonna do a second coat, so you don't have to worry about getting every single thing on the first coat and you don't wanna put it on too thick either. Okay, so my first coat is dry. And while it was drying, I, uh, I had a chat with my brother-in-law, Pete. I told him how, how fantastic his son is doing on his way to becoming an Eagle Scout. Can't complain about that. And uh, I, uh, I told my father-in-law, Phil, how great all of his grandkids are doing. And uh, I'm sure they know that, but everybody likes to be visited. And everybody likes an update on the family, I'm sure. So after that first coat soaked in, and dried, it really laid the foundation for a, a nice top coat, which is what we're putting on now. 
Just gonna put on a top coat. Well, folks, that's it. Two coats and you should be good. A heck of a lot simpler process than you thought it was gonna be. The next time you go visit your loved ones, you can bring these same supplies with you and give your favorite headstone a facelift. If you're like me and you have a lot of dead people in your family, this will keep you busy for a couple of days. I'm sorry I wasn't very funny today, folks, but this was kind of a serious subject for me. We'll get back to the humor on the next video. If you subscribe to this YouTube channel, you can learn how to do just about everything you ever wanted to learn to do around the house, and most of the time, we're a heck of a lot funnier than we were today. Anyhow, thanks for letting us bring a whole lot of experience and a little bit of humor onto your job site. Fixing stuff in a serious way with a not-so-serious guy.